Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay and today I got a nice quick instructional video for you guys. I want to show you how to add any single blockchain to your MetaMask. And this could be confusing for a lot of people. If you don't really know how to use Web3, then you need to go ahead and watch my first video on what is Web3 and how to use it. I'll put it in the cards right above. Um, once you watch that video, come back and watch this video and you'll have a little bit of better idea of what I'm talking about. So if you are using metamask then metamask is kind of a wallet interface it's not just one wallet so i want you to think of it as kind of like venmo and then you can connect that to your different bank accounts like on venmo you can connect your credit card to it you can connect your bank account to it if you have another bank account you can connect to it and when you pay for something you can choose which account you pay with well this is the same thing with metamask you have your metamask and then you can connect different blockchains to it and then you can use the tokens on those blockchains now keep in mind when you switch to a different blockchain you will need that blockchain's token so for example if you connect your metamask to matic you will need the matic token to pay for transaction fees if you connect your metamask to binance chain then you will need bnb token and so forth and so on so let's just get right into it real quick so when you want to connect to a different blockchain you're going to click right here and it says ethereum mainnet when you click down it's going to give you all the test nets on ethereum and then you can see i have added some custom rpcs right here i have xdi go chain binance chain matic chain and opera so how do you add these to your metamask well normally you would come down here and you would click add a custom rpc and you have to find the network name the network url the chain id and all this stuff and it's really really complicated for example if you want to do binance then you would come here you want to click in your custom rpcs and you don't have to look up on binance's medium come down here and find the custom rpc the chain id and the symbol and click it in but there is a website that was invented by andre I'm not even going to try to say his last name, but the creators of Wi-Fi just to make it easier for people to connect their MetaMask. And that website is called Chainlist.org. So what's dope about this is you can basically connect their Web3 wallets. People can connect their Web3 wallets in the click of a button. So what you do is you have your MetaMask already set up. You come here, you click connect your wallet. Um, I already approved my wallet. It's going to little metamask thing is going to pop up and ask you if you want to let chainlist do things on your metamask wallet you hit sign and then you can come down and you can click on any of these blockchains and if they're available to use with metamask and you can connect them very easily so for example right here say we want to do polygon matic you will just click add to metamask it's going to pop up right here it says switch network and now boom i'm connected to the matic network now if i want to use this i will need to add some matic to this wallet so i'll go to an exchange i'll get myself some matic i'll send them here now i can go on quick swap and make sw swaps on matic and stuff like that so it makes it very 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 simple to use other blockchains you can connect them like just with the click of a button like you just seen so let's find another one let's look for one that i don't have connected I'll say cello mainnet will click add and it'll say right here um, allow this network to add this network it'll show me the cello mainnet it'll show me the URL the chain ID um, if you want to be super safe then you might want to go to cello's medium and make sure that these things are correct but hit approve switch the network and then boom now I have cello mainnet connected right here to my metamask so this website right here chainlist.org i will put this in the description and i hope this helps some people out with navigating through web3 like i said if you don't really know what i just talked about then go ahead and watch my first video on web3 but this is very cool because right now ethereum is pretty expensive for people who want to do nfts and stuff like that you can do nfts on some of these other main nets or these other side chains or um, layer twos that will allow you to um do it very cheap and fast so yeah you might want to check some of that stuff out like and subscribe turn on post notifications till next time peace